All right, so in today's video, we are going to generate some really interesting looking images from a series of text prompts. So over the last two weeks, I have been tinkering with Stable Diffusion. Stable Diffusion is an image processing artificial intelligence. Let me see what Wikipedia says. Stable Diffusion is a deep learning text to image model released in 2022. It's primarily used to generate detailed images conditioned on text descriptions. Essentially, it's geek speak for you describe an image that you're thinking about and Stable Diffusion will generate it. And there are lots of other image generation artificial intelligence programs, you know, uh, like um, Mid Journey, like DALI2, ETC. So I saw a prompt on Twitter and it really intrigued me because I was like, what if I try to replicate this? And so I, you know, fired up my local installation of Stable Diffusion and let's see what it did. So the first thing that, I, that you have to do with Stable Diffusion is tell it exactly what you're thinking about. So in this case, the prompt was to create a fairy tale inspired living room by using pastel colors and adding elements like magical castle mural on one wall, a chandelier made of branches, and twinkling lights and comfortable furniture with carved whimsical shapes. So I gave it the prompt and let's see what it did. So I adjusted the batch number so that I get more images, which in this case two by two is four images. And then I click um, generate and then it does this. This one is relatively simpler because it's going to take a shorter time. Uh, but so far we are at 23 seconds of generation and it's proceeding. It looks like it's about to get done. And voila. So look at that. It's really incredible how realistic these pictures look. Um, this had a little bit of green, um, sorry, this had a little bit of pink, which I didn't quite like, but it was, you know, that fairy tale pastel color that I requested for. So what I decided to do was to ask it not to include pink in its prompts and then click to generate and let's see what it creates. Six seconds to go. So this is real time. I have not edited this particular segment. And voila. So now we have a lot more blues and greens are there, but we have a lot more blues and it looks really, really good. Now, my PC doesn't have the processing power as, you know, online solutions like um, Mid Journey, but you can still see that the outcome is really amazing. So then what I decided to do also was to change the sampling model, which essentially gives it additional parameters to try out. So I don't even know how to explain what sampling models are, but let's just say I kept trying different ones and you'll see the results shortly. So this looks even better than the previous one. So the previous, this is called EULA. The previous one was called EULA A. And as you can see, this offers a much richer amount of detail. And you can see it really tries to dive into the textures, dives a little bit into the materials and all that. And the lighting is really vibrant. So then I tried, um, what am I doing here? Let's take a look at that again. And then the next thing I tried is another sampling model called LMS, sampling method. And that seems to give it an even richer texture. It's almost realistic. Now the pictures look a little bit low quality. It's just that my machine has limited processing power, um, even though it's a six gigabyte um, graphics card, um, but it still has limitations. But as you can see that the richness is just getting better and better. So then I tried the next method, which is Heowin. However, I probably butchered that. Uh, it looks like it's taking longer, probably having to deal with a whole lot of parameters and settings that I have no idea about. But 
let's say seven seconds left. Look at that. Look at the detail in that. You can almost see the folds in the curtains. You can see the, look at the mural in the background on that. Look at the texture outside the windows. It's just so incredible how amazing, how robust and amazing this artificial intelligence is. So then I decided to increase the number of sampling steps, which is a, which is a fancy way of telling it, go a little bit further, look at a little bit, look at significantly more options and see what you can return and see what you can provide. So I thought I would change the sampling method there for a bit, but I was like, nah, let's just keep it with what it is. So this is going to take a while, but I'm going to let it run uh, real time so that you know how long it takes. I think this one took about one minute and 30 seconds, but let's, let's, let's see. Do, 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 do. Nowadays, everybody want to talk when they got something to say, but nothing comes out when they move the lips, just a bunch of gibberish. And blip, 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 act like they want to forgot about Dre. We don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. We don't talk about Bruno. Yeah, I think I'm losing my mind. But it was our wedding day. There was not a cloud in the sky. No, clouds are loud in the sky. Are you telling a story? Oh my. Okay, that is 23 seconds. So as you can see, this is taking quite a bit of time. Um, let's see what the results look like. And voila. So it does look like it offers a little bit of depth. I feel like it's the, the time is not really worth it, but the, the pictures look amazing. But I feel like the previous reduced number of steps, oh my God, that looks awesome. That looks, that looks incredible. All right, so I decided to just, you know, reduce the number of steps because it's like, let's see this as fast as possible. Let's see what that DPM2 looks like. So isn't it amazing that all of these are images that are being generated purely from the text that you've given the artificial intelligence? And it's just thinking about this quote unquote thinking, thinking about this and sort of recreating this image that has been described to it. And it just gets so much powerful. You can do faces, you can do um, scenes, you can do all sorts of weird illustrations. And we'll take a look at some of those later. Uh, this is done. Oh, that looks awesome. I like, I like this. I like that fourth one. Uh, I think the next one after this. Yeah, I really love that. I love how rich and vibrant it gets. It looks very fair, fairy tale-y. All right. Um, so what I decided to do next was just add a little bit more of a descriptor. Again, these are prompts that are still from that person's tweet, and I'll post a link to the tweet at the bottom of this uh, of this video, but I basically just use the same tweet to see if it would give me the results um, like, like his. Uh, so I'll just skip forward for a bit. So this now says, a fairy tale inspired living room by using pastel colors and adding elements like a magical castle mural on one wall, a chandelier made of branches and twinkling lights and comfortable furniture with carved whimsical shapes and then the next prompt now is to transform the living room into an enchanted forest by hanging sheer green fabric from the ceiling to create a canopy effect, adding potted plants and trees and using earthy tones and natural materials for the furniture and the decor. So let's see what it comes up with. Click generate. We are not changing the sampling model, the sampling method. Let's see how that looks, 20 seconds. Doo -doo 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 -doo. 
four seconds and boom so now you can see what it's done right it's added all these leafy green canopy effects to the piece and it just guys i don't know about you but this this looks incredible this this is just amazing what artificial intelligence can do right now so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video i'll leave these pictures cycling so that you can take a look at them one at a time uh but i think it was absolutely amazing to see what this artificial intelligence can do so you know i'll be covering a lot more about ai because i do want to build up on a much bigger project i can't guarantee when the next video will drop but these are really easy to make um so maybe the next one will drop in a few days all right cheers bye